Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I have with me the latest Thunderbolt 3 dock released just now. It's the TDX180G by Sparkle. Now, TB3 docks are getting better and better every year. And the unique feature about this fella, I've got it set up right here. Look at that. Wirelessly charging the phone. Boom, like that. It glows and it starts charging up my phone. So they're getting crazier and crazier. It also has a built in SSD for USB. You got 3.0 and 3.1 USBs. You got an SD card slot, microphone, headphone jack, and you got two ports at the back one to plug into your Mac and one for a monitor, or as I'm using now, a 10 GBE Ethernet adapter. So you got a spare Thunderbolt 3 port at the back for usage. Overall, I like where they're going with this technology. It keeps them getting better every single year. However, so it does have two fans to get the airflow flowing through to cool down the SSD and all that kind of stuff. Just slides out like that. There are all the ports just there. And what I want to disconnect is the fans. even if you do unplug the fans. There's a bit of core wine in there. It might be the SSD in there. It's an Intel 128 gigabytes one. It reads very fast. The read speeds are over a thousand megabytes a second. However, the write speeds are you know, not that good. It's between 200 to 500 MBS. So it's not that good at writing, but reading is good. So if I was getting this unit, I'd probably opt for the version that doesn't have an SSD built in because that probably generates too much heat. So on the positives, yeah, it's got a lot of ports. Network, display port, 85 watts delivery, 15 watts delivery, that one, two Thunderbolt 3s. You got SD card, four USBs, 3.0 and 3.1. Wireless charging, cool AF. But yeah, that is how docks are evolving in the future. I guess one more minor gripe I'd say about it, it only maximum charges at 85 watts and as you can see laptops nowadays they go up to 90 90 was it 96 96 watts the macbook pro can take so you still need to have an external charger if you're using it with a macbook pro the latest one but yeah that's the situation as it is it has 4k output 85 watts of laptop power delivery an ssd built in <laughs> interchangeable as well key key charging so you can wirelessly charge your mobile phones on top SD card reader, audio in, all these kind of good stuff. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, la la la. la. Oh, there you go. That's actually pretty light. So that is the latest generation Thunderbolt 3 dock there is released this year. Check it out in the links below. Let me know what kind of docks you guys are rocking at home. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Magic. Oh la la. What is this? invisible wireless discharge in imagine like back in the day like you know cavemen saw not even cavemen even a hundred years ago people saw this crazy technology wireless electricity charging mobile phones 5g amazing stuff is happening in the world 5g infected my brain